1860 is a joyous time in the Shriver household, consisting of George and Hetty, married five years earlier, and two daughters, Sadie, five, and Molly, three. Even though there was talk of a war between the states, the Shriver family enjoyed a merry Christmas with hopes of a prosperous new year in 1861. However, the following April, President Lincoln called for 75,000 troops to put down a Southern rebellion. The Civil War had begun. Patty and the children remained on Baltimore Street for two years, spending Christmas much in the same way as before George left as an enlisted man on August of 1861. Both George and Hetty held the belief of the general public. The war would be over soon. But early on July 1st, 1863, everything changed. By 9 a.m., Hetty was aware of the war and gathered the children together and headed south three miles, seeking safety on her parents' farm. daughters left their house on July 1st, 1 o'clock in the afternoon to head to the Weikert farm. Within just a few hours, the Confederate Army had control of the town. And Upon returning to Gettysburg on July 7th, Hetty found her home had been occupied by Confederate soldiers who helped themselves to all the food, clothing, blankets, linens, and tools while using the attic as a sharpshooter's nest and the basement as a hospital. Five months after the battle, George returned home for four days, Christmas 1863. Nothing about him, the family, or Gettysburg was ever the same. 